Now, okay, now we're going to talk about what all of these things do right up here. Your toolbar is what actually what it's called. The first thing we're going to talk about is file. On this video, we're just going to talk about file. File, new would be new project. You open a whole new project. Um, you can have several projects going off at one time, so I can start making a beat. If I have an idea for another beat, or, or, or I'm in the middle of recording somebody and I want to record something else really quick, I can open up a new project and have, still have the other one open. And just to confirm, what I mean by project, meaning this, the project, a song. Um, now, open. Open means you can open another project. When you click open, it'll ask you, you know, you can search for the the folder or the file that you want to open. Now, don't get open and import confused. Open means you can open up a project file. Let's say for me, this is Rock One. That's a project. That's a whole project in one bundle. And it's going to open up. Let me just open up real quick. It's taking longer than normal because I'm running this software to record the screen. All right. See, I open up a whole project, all of these audio files. All right. Let's delete that. Import would be importing audio or video, one single track, but I'll I'll talk about that in a second. Now, so but that's what open is. Open up a whole project. So don't try to open up wave and MP3s with it, because it's not gonna work. Revert. Revert means that let's just say if you made uh you recorded a song. But you didn't finish it. Let's say you finish halfway through. You saved it. And then tomorrow you come back, you go to open. You open up that project so you can finish it. You record some more. You don't finish it. You save it. The next day, you open it back up again. And then you finish it this time. You finish it on the third day. But maybe you don't like the way it sounded. You don't like the way it sound. You like the way it sounded the first time you saved it. But after the second and third time, it just didn't, you know, started not to sound right. You just want to go back to where you were when you first saved it. Well, revert will allow you to do that. You go to revert and then it'll, then let's click on that. Of course, this is an empty project. You don't see nothing, but you will see a list of where you have saved it those three times. You can click it back and go right back to the first time and hit OK, and it will take it back to when you first saved it. So that's a pretty cool feature, and that's where Revert is. Close. Let's close. Close the project. Not close Sonar, but close the project. I can close the project. And still have sonar up. All right. Now, uh, save. Save is save. You <laughs> save the project. Now, if it's a let's say if it's something a song that you're recording and you never saved it before, it's something new. Um, when you hit save, it's going to ask you you know what name you want to save it as um after you save it that first time and then you record some more and let's say you save it again it's going to save it to that same name but let's just say you want to name it a different name let's say um you know let's say if, like for me if i was to make my own song and i make the beat i may save it as instrumental but then when i start recording my vocals when i want to save it again i want to save it as song so what I'll have to do is save as. The first time you save it as save. Really the first time you can save it as save as too. But um, the first time you save 
on just save, it's going to ask you to name it. Then after that, it's not going to ask you again. It will only ask you again when you click on save as. So that way you can rename it if you want to. Or name it as a different um, whole other project. So that's the difference between save and save as. Hope I was clear about that. Um, information is information. Really, it's more like a notepad for you. You can name it, subtitle it, instructions, who the author was, the copyright, keywords, and this whole area is just notes. Like sometimes I used to record, and um, I know that you know certain artists requested something, and maybe they say, uh, "Can you do this to my voice?" And they ran out of studio time, but they want me to do it next time when they come back. Well, if I'm recording 30 different people and they all want different stuff, how am I supposed to remember? Well, using that um, that feature, which is is all on all the Kmart products, um, you can save instructions or request or whatever you want for that specific artist. So when you go back to that project, um, you'll remember. Um, project audio files is basically the audio files that's within the project. Um, you know, I never really uses it, but you can see all your um, audio files that's within the project. Of course, this is an empty project, so I have no audio files, but if I did, it'd be right there. Import. Import is where you would import MP3s, waves, your audio files, video. Um, with Sonar 7, I can actually import a song off of audio CD or regular CD. Um, your LEs and your earlier versions of Sonars can't do that. But you can import, you know, WAV files and MP3s and stuff. Export. Export will be like save, except for when you export, you're exporting audio and not a whole project. Save will be saving a whole project. Import and export is a specific sound or wave or, you know, maybe a whole song. So, like, if I had, like, four different tracks of audio, I can highlight the whole track and export it, all of them, and then save it down to one file. So, you could do that. Some people bounce it down to one track and then export it, but that's on a later video. But basically trying to make this very clear import and export is saving and bringing in sounds where open and save is opening and saving a whole project all right um so that's pretty much the difference between those two and then you got this list right here this is going to be a list of projects that you've done in the past your last eight i guess and your last eight so these are the last eight projects that I've opened up in Sonar. And Rock 1 would be number one. Why? Because I had opened up Rock um, last time. So an exit would be exit. <laughs> would be exit the whole program. Remember I was talking about how you can close a project and Sonar would still be open. But if you click exit, it's exiting out Sonar, closing Sonar completely. And then down here, where they got these three arrows, which I'm not sure if the uh, like Ellie and uh, Music Creator and your, I think your earlier sonars have it, but I'm not sure the smaller like Ellie's have it. Well, anyway, you have the section where you can set up print because if you're doing notations or if you record in MIDI and you it have a section where you have notations like so like sheet music. So if you record MIDI, you can print off your sheet music and then send. But you really won't mess with this right now. I mean, we're just in the beginning. But right, this is how, uh, this is the description of the file section. And next video will be about the edit section. So make sure you check me out, freebiggrindbeats.com. I'm going to have more tutorial videos to come. All right, peace.